everyone. Welcome back. Today we are going to make the Olive Garden Zupa Toscana soup. And uh, I made another soup for you guys. And those are so good. Those are the soups that everybody gets at when they go to the restaurant. And <clears throat> if you guys didn't know this already, Zupa in Italian means soup. And Toscana refers to the Tuscany region of Italy. So, therefore, Zuppa Toscana really translates to a Tuscan soup. But this is the Americanized version because the Tuscan style, Tuscan style soup is kind of like a minestrone where you just add beans and potatoes and veggies and whatever you guys have, like bread. Well, at least in Italy. So, we're going to make the Zuppa Toscana, which is like one of my favorite soups at Olive Garden. It's very rich. So bear with me. What we have right now is we have Italian sausage in our pan already cooked. And we're going to add just a little bit of um, red pepper flakes to this. Sausage. We're going to put a pat of butter in the pot. And we're going to go ahead and saute our onions and our garlic. Okay, so you're going to put your onion here. And I already have this on the same plate, so I've got a few potatoes in there. We're going to let that get translucent. Then we're going to add our garlic. And you're going to want to put in about three cloves well one tablespoon of garlic so maybe like a couple cloves three cloves of garlic right, i've got the onions sauteed i went ahead and added my three cloves of garlic Oops. Okay, guys you're going to want to have six cups of chicken broth two cups of water you're going to go ahead and add that in we're going to go ahead and add our potatoes which is about four to five small yellow potatoes i didn't have yellow potatoes i'm just using russet potatoes but i've got two large potatoes so i'm going to go ahead and add those in now and then you're going to want to salt and pepper and bring that to a boil let those potatoes cook just slightly potatoes, and you're going to let this boil up in about eight to ten minutes then after this we're going to add the kale and the heavy cream and then we will add the sausage and we'll garnish with parmesan cheese if so desired i'm leaving it out i'll put it on at the end but right now we're going to go ahead and wait for this to come to a boil about eight to ten minutes sure you get your kale ready i've got four cups of kale i've got the organic kale and it's already chopped for me so get that ready i've got it in the four cup large um container the pyrex cup that we've used already for our chicken stock it will not hurt it just go ahead and use it save on the dishes but again i've got organic kale already chopped four cups guys, our potatoes have cooked with the sausage and everything for 10 minutes now we're going to go ahead and add our kale and as i mentioned earlier it's four cups of chopped kale and it looks like a lot when it's going in, but it will cook down. Let me take this little piece right off the top here. See a couple little stems I'm going to pull out. Another one. Let's pull that out of there. You don't want stems in it, but sometimes they have it in there when it's all chopped up. All right, we're going to go ahead and add that in. I'm gonna get a couple pieces and then we're gonna get our heavy cream and put it in two cups of heavy cream if you're not aware it's 16 ounce which is like one pint so you can just get one pint at the store and you'll have plenty we're gonna go ahead and add that in I'm just gonna put my little container down in there like that and get all that out of there all that goodness put it back in just like that and stir this up you're gonna let it simmer you're going to add salt and pepper to taste, and you're going to let this simmer. And there it is, your Zupa Toscana, your pasta uh, olive garden soup. We had made pasta visual earlier, and now we've made the Zupa Toscano, which is one of my favorites. And we're going to go ahead and salt and pepper to taste and let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. And you'll have some dinner. And this does freeze if you're questioning whether or not it can freeze you can freeze the soup which is really great and you can also freeze the pasta visual so i appreciate y'all tuning in to watch our video today thanks again for tuning in to mom's cherished home and give us a thumbs up or a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already we do appreciate our viewers thanks so much for watching
bye